tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Started with animation. Hello friends, please be seated and put your hands on the desk. I'm not kidding, no, we're going to do this in character animation today. First of all, we go to Windows, Settings Preferences, Preferences. Just meditate on this command here, Command Chain Windows, Settings Preferences, Preferences. Here you go to the middle entry, which is settings, and change the working units from centimeters to meters. Save. This is a usual starting point for character animation. When you press A now to see all, you see the same grid, but the grid is in dimensions of meters now. So this is not a centimeter here, it's a meter. And uh, a person has the height of maybe 1.5, 1 1.8 meters. And now we introduce a person, we go to Windows, General Editors, Content Browser. I already opened this before, you find it under Animation and Rigs. The rigs are provided by the render people here in Cologne actually, and they're in the Maya package just nicely rigged characters. You see that they have rigs from the rig for, from the skeleton in, in their back. And uh, we'll select Antonia, double click, and she lands in the scene. When we press F now for framing her or focusing on her, we see her in the middle of the scene in a so-called stance pose. That's with the stretched out arms in the z-axis. This is the z-axis. This is a usual starting point for any kind of character animation. Now if you want to place her back there, we just select this node here. It's called Antonio Rigged whatever and you move her over there. So you have this line here showing that motion but basically this is not necessary in most cases because uh, it doesn't have to do anything with character animation it's just positioning her there so let's undo this we would like to work with her seeing the texture and the, that's this icon let me just check yeah okay it takes a second to load the textures now she's here we want to make her sit at a desk and for the desk, we choose a plane and for the chair, we just use this box here. Scale it down a little bit. Now, how can we make her sit down? Do we just want to create a pose where she is sitting there with her hands on the table? And this is all we're going to do in this tutorial and it's not trivial really. Um, here is the character, that's Antonia. The source which drives her is the control rig. Uh, the control rig doesn't have any animation curves, it's just a control rig which means we can use the joints and bones to animate her. And um, an interesting thing to check out is these two pins here. These two pins mean that the feet are staying on the ground whatever you do with that skeleton they're just placed there and uh, we're gonna do this now we're gonna pick the hip joint we lower her and you see the feet don't penetrate the ground now they just stay there where they are and now we move her to the back and slightly down and I think she's seated nicely the feet are on the ground. Let me just undo this and unpin the feet. These are the icons for pinning and when they're not blue the feet are unpinned. Now when I move the 
skeleton down, she goes all the way down. And that's certainly something I don't want. So the pinning is very important for character animation. It's as important as keyframing, for example. Select both feet now and pin them again. Now they have the little pin icons here. And now I do the same as before. I just lower her a little bit, move her to the left, so she sits down nicely on that chair, which you can place a little bit forward now. Now I move the table top over here, and I think it's too high. We humans are very sensitive when it comes to the height of tables and chairs and stairs, actually, but I think this is quite all right here. Now I want to pick the arms and place the hands on the table. Now watch out what's happening when I move the hand forward. The whole character is moving. When I now lower the hand, she gets in a really terrible pose. When I pick the left hand, I get this kind of pose here, which is really not what I want. She changes her position all the time here, and I just basically want to place the hands on the table and do nothing else. So let's undo these last couple of steps. And do you have an idea what I should do concerning pinning? Well, I pin this bone here, this joint, in translation and in rotation. So it has the pinning icons now. When I now select the hand, nothing happens, but I cannot extend the hand further in this direction to the right because the shoulder is just staying there. So um, the typical way to do this is like this. You need the different perspectives all the time so animators always rotate in the scene and move in the scene etc so her arm position is very nice now her hand position is not perfect but we can rotate her hand by pressing the rotation key is the key e in maya and now you rotate the hand like this and um, you can go to detail into details but we won't do this today. So I do the same thing with the left hand now. I move it in here and it's nice the shoulder stays where it is. I have all the time of the world to place my hands on the on the desk. And a little bit of rotation here. This is a very nice feature really. You always change technically you change from inverse kinematics to forward kinematics you don't have to care about this uh, right now but this is quite nice really so let's unpin the shoulder bone now that means that I can actually move the hands in a different position and the shoulders will follow accordingly you see, it's following now, but I don't want to I want this. Uh, all I want is to make this joint here in the back rotate forward like this. And the same with this joint here with the shoulder, so she leans forward. Now you see the hands which I place so delicately on the on the table are below the table. So how do I go about this? Well, again, let's undo this, these steps here. And now what I'll do is I pin both hands. Now they have the needles here. And when I now rotate this joint, the hands stay in place. The elbow doesn't but the hands stay in place. And with this, I leave you alone now. Keep in mind, pinning is absolutely crucial in 
composing characters. And of course this needs a lot of refinement here. So she looks into the proper direction, so she nicely looks at us. Or further down when, when she's reading something. But you can go from there. Now we positioned her so she's sitting on that stool and she has her hands on the table and works out something. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.